Sanjay Sorry, Come Ani so uh, as is stated in the sutras that the <coughs> you know um, that the that the buddhas cannot uh, you know wash uh, wash away the negative karma of the sentient beings with water nor can they you know uh, uh, remove the sufferings of sentient beings <coughs> with their hand and nor can the buddhas kind of transfer their realizations uh, to uh, uh, to sentient beings so um how um, what are you know the only way that the buddhas can enable the liberation of sentient beings is through uh, showing the uh, the truth of reality that uh, the truth of the ultimate reality is the only way in which they can liberate sentient beings free sentient beings so uh, so in this context then you can say that uh, when the buddha first generated the thought of a of a bodhicitta generate the mind mahana mind then did so uh, for the benefit of sentient beings in order to enable sentient beings to be able to purify their tathagata essence mm -hmm. and and, and thereby attain liberation. And in the, uh, in the middle, when they engaged in the three countless eons of accumulation of merit, that was also done for the benefit of sentient beings' liberation uh, in order to enable them in their uh, purifying of their Tathagata essence. And in the same way, then, um, uh, in, uh, even the very end, achievement of the total extinction of the two types of obscurations and the attainment of the the exalted wisdom of the omniscient mind that was also attained for the benefit of sentient beings uh, uh, and you know um, in order to enable uh, sentient beings attainment of liberation so um, having achieved achieved this then how did, how did the uh, how um, in what manner 
uh, did they fulfill the welfare of sentient beings? And that is through their activities, because sentient beings are recipient of the activities of the Buddhas. So in their uh, in the manner in which they fulfill the benefit of their uh, benefit of sentient beings upon attaining enlightenment is through their activities. Oh yeah, a Rimji, Kasan Shu and Ashin Chen, Duja Korangum and a Rimji, and a Lando Jukti, and a Tamadam Jukova. In Zang, Jim Den Davis, Zebena and a Sungi Zaba de Choyin, Cheni, Zaba Kuna Sungini, Zaba Choyin, Cheni, Jamona Matonga Chip, and the Dibin and so on, Ashin Cheni, Ra to Sungari, Ra. So so it is through showing the truth of the ultimate reality, uh, the, um, uh, you know, the karma, uh, what is to be practiced, what is to be abandoned, and by the disciples engaging in this practice, then, uh, you know, through this, uh, <clears throat> uh, through these graduated stages of the practices that they engage in, of uh, practicing and aban abandoning what is to be abandoned. That is how they, uh, they achieve the freedom from the de defilements. So as uh, Lama Tsongkhapa stated in, in the praise of dependent rising, then in amongst all the activities of the Buddhas, then uh, the activity of the holy speech of the Buddha is the most supreme of all, of all their activities. <laughs> Anitan Tonga so, um, so um, what is the reason for saying that this, <coughs> the activities of the holy speech of the Buddha, Buddhas is the most supreme of all the activities as uh, as what is uh, in, and that can uh, that is denoted in 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 the praise of dependent rising, you know that you know uh, the all the you know everything that was kept clarified by Chandakirti uh, in uh, in in uh, <coughs> in what is no, uh, in what is known as the the uh, the, uh, the stainless garland clarified what has been clarified in this text then I have I have been able to see it uh, through the kindness of the guru uh, I, uh, you know through the speech of the guru teachings of guru so just as how the Buddha taught in the sutras about the non uh, um, uh, non-inherent existence or no existence by way of its own nature, uh, taught on the lineage, taught on the uh, luminous nature of the mind. All, all of these teachings on the Tathagata essence, uh, the perfection of wisdom, um, teachings that are in the sutras, then you have um, Nagarjuna, commenting on it in Root Wisdom and Chandakirti uh, further clarifying upon it. And, uh, our, and, and all of this I have come to see or I have come to see it for myself through the kindness of the Guru. 
that I've been able to see dependent arising uh, through the kindness of the speech of the Guru. And in seeing it so, then I have found relief. Mm. Uh, that uh, that my mind has found relief or solace. So, um, uh, so this refers to you know the uh, understanding with regards to the insight, with uh, with regards to the profound emptiness that uh, that one uh, that one is able to see uh, attain solely through the uh, you know the guru's um, kind uh, you know kindness of the activities of the Holy Spirit teaching the Dharma. So in that way then, the, in amongst all the activities of the Buddhas, then the activities of the Holy Spirit is regarded as the most supreme. Mm-hmm. あれ so just as um, uh, how Maitre taught in the Uttara Tantra Sublime Count Continuum on the um, Tathagata Garba and as, what is, uh, as how it is stated within uh, the Sutra of the Tathagata Essence then the, in the method as to how one may purify the defilements, the method. Uh, all of these um, methods employed on the basis of the, you know, the ethics uh, on, the, on the foundation of morality, then uh, uh, undertaking the, uh, uh, you know, the undertaking the activities of listening to the teachings, contemplating on these teachings, and and reflecting on those contemplations of those teachings over and over and over again, so that one is able to gain uh, the familiarity of it. And in this manner, then uh, you know, uh, uh, in this manner. For, uh, then come to purify uh, all of those defilements, beginning from the very gross and, and gradually to the most subtle, and eventually, then one can come to actualize the total freedom from all of these uh, defilements. Oh yeah. So, uh, so then uh, uh, we will uh, begin with the uh, with the answer to the question that was presented yesterday. So, what is it? You can't go there. Be because you can't go down. Then you got to do just go your way. So then uh, uh, you have those uh, 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 nine uh, nine obscuring, phen- uh, you know, um, uh, nine. Uh, Nine obscuring uh, phenomena, um, as uh, in the form of illustrations, and the uh, you know, uh, and the uh, nine obscurations as illustrated in how how they um, uh, you know had uh, how they obscure the the meaning. So uh, you say, um, uh, what is obscured, the obscured phenomena, the illustrations for those obscured phenomena are like the, um, like the honey, like the Buddha's body, uh, like the um, kernel of a grain, and so forth. Then you have the examples for the uh, you know the obscuring phenomena you know the the lotus that obscures the phenomenon of the Buddha body 
<coughs> the you know the 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 bees that uh, you know uh, obscuring the phenomenon of the of the honey you know the husk that obscures the the grain and so forth so in this way you have these nine examples to illustrate the obscured phenomena and obscuring phenomena <laughs> So um, then you have, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the meaning of the, uh, you know, the, the meaning behind the examples of the examples of the obscuring phenomena, the nine obscuring phenomena. Uh, what, um, you know, what do they, uh, uh, you know, what do they mean? Are the, um, uh, you know, what do they denote? Is the you know the 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 dormant desire, the dormant uh, anger, the dormant ignorance, and the, the f um, like that. You have these uh, nine uh, um, uh, uh, nine phenomena that, uh, that are symbolized by the examples of the obscuring phenomena. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, um, the verse that enlists uh, these, uh, you know, uh, these, um, uh, this, uh, uh, you know, the meaning of the uh, the meaning behind the the illustration uh, or the um, examples for the obscuring phenomena. That particular verse comes later on in the text. <laughs> And then the uh, fault is the you know the the forceful or the manifest uh, form of the three uh, three poisonous minds. Then it is the la pacha dang say the mari pacha ki sa say the. And then the predispositions, uh, referring to the grounds of the uh, predispositions of ignorance. And it is the la. And, and, and then you have the abandonments of the path of seeing, abandonments of the path of meditation, abandonments of... Uh, um, in the face of the, you know, the seven impure grounds, seven impure levels, and the abandonments of the three pure levels. So th these are the, uh, the, uh, the, you know, the nine uh, obscuring factors, you know, illustrated by those examples. <laughs> The so, uh, um, if the question is, uh, you know, um, these uh, nine obscuring phenomena, you know, are they abandoned in the sequence in which it is presented? You know, abandoning the dormant desire, dormant uh, anger, dormant ignorance, and then, uh, you know, the forceful, um, uh, you know, mass manifestations of the three poisonous minds. Aban you know, if the question is, are these nine... Um, Obscuring uh, in a, uh, defilements. Um, if if the question is, are they abandoned in the series in which it is presented? That is not the case. 
Ote mare kare re sana tu sumji pala nya sumbo te dang pa sha be sumbo ta tu sum unju wa te cham pang ba cham ji ani pang ba yong su zuo gu er wei sana ta te zuo gu a ma re mo zuo wa kare wa re sana ani ma re pa cha ge sa dang te la dian ba ki ani o ka so re ma re pa cha ge sa dang ti ye ba ki ni na chu wa ji yo yin zang and then uh, you know if we if the, if the question is you know uh, does abandoning of the latent or dormant desire anger ignorance and the manifest forms of the two poisonous minds in abandoning this does that qualify as having a, in a totally abandoned Mm, all of the objects of abandonment, then that is also not the case because you still have the uh, you know the uh, the grounds, uh, the imprints, the predispositions of ignorance, uh, which uh, which gives rise to all of our dual view. So, in order to uh, in order to abandon uh, the dormant desire, uh, yeah, uh, the dormant desire, anger, and ignorance, and the seeds, then they they are abandoned on the path of uh, uh, path of seeing, on the path of meditation, and also in the phases of the seven impure levels. So, uh, so um, uh, when we talk about the grounds of the imprints of ignorance, grounds of the predisposition of ignorance, it's, it still is imprints of ignorance in those imprints that are laid there by the, um, the, by the grasping at true existence. So, um, uh, the grounds of the predispositions of ignorance and the, the non-afflicted karma, uncontaminated karma, they are the causes that generate, uh, you know, uh, the birth of the, uh, in, you know, the Arya Bodhisattvas, and generate the birth of the beings in the three pure levels. Uh, uh, you know, the Arya uh, Shravakas as well as the Arya um, Pratikas. So because um, mm, uh, they are the causal factors for ripening of these bodies, it, um, so they are regarded as, uh, the, uh, you know, it, it, is, uh, it is called the grounds of the imprints of ignorance because they are the causal factors. <laughs> Come the washing So these obscuring defilements, um, you know, does not follow a, 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 pro, um, a progression of series in which you are gradually sort of. Pure, um, kind of um, uh, purifying your tata uh, garba, you know, your basic element. It's not, it's not presented in a in a sequence like that, uh, you know, sequence to show the the series in which uh, uh, how uh, in, um, the man in uh, the sequence in which you know that uh, that tata, uh, that tata garba is pu pu is purified. It, it doesn't, sh uh, you know, it's not in that order. So, uh, did that answer yesterday's question? 
Çirmen babiç kaşını. Bir sonra ya ay. Ya. Ah. Propensity to ignorance and the sound of the propensity to ignorance. These are the same thing. Ah. Di marik marik bahçada marik bahçada sas çıpır ve. Çıpır es. Marik bir bahçada tela sas min der ki kare resana. Ani çıpır de kasore. ジャンジュセンバダニアランダジュンアニケワレミイリジケワレンピシシェワイネコラパジマリパチャクサスタワイワダイジャンマリパチャクワレレシノボトオフデイデプリディスポジションズオフイグノンスアンデグラウンズビ
So, as stated earlier, when we talked about, you know, does <coughs> abandoning of the dormant <coughs> desire, anger, ignorance, and the manifest forms of these, um, you know, three poisonous states of the minds, uh, does abandoning of these qualify as having qualify us as having aban totally abandoned everything that needs to be abandoned, then that's not the case because we still need to um, uh, rid ourselves of the predispositions of the uh, ignorance. And so for that reason, then you, uh, you have, you know, uh, these uh, uh, and three pure levels along which, you know, at each level there are different, uh, you know, levels of that uh, uh, obscuration to omniscience, uh, the uh, the the um, you know the uh, the view of duality that arises from that imprint of ignorance uh, that get uh, that are about, you know there are three it's like the um, at each of these levels then the different levels of that uh, obscuration to omniscience gets purified. <laughs> Denzin de la Cor Cuchin, Chimbo Cosm, Chungo Cosm, Dream Corsum, Chigana, and then Chimbo Cosm, the Dream Corsum Chair, and then Chung Cosm, the Chicha to Chigana, and then sign you on a Saturday by Padre and Bashi to Ponguari. So uh, it might be mentioned later on in the text where you, um, where grasping a true existence has, and there are nine of them, you know. Uh, three great, three middling, and three um, of the uh, small, kind, uh, minor kinds of grasping true existence, and the th um, um, the, th uh, th the three minor forms of the grasping at true existence is sort of lumped into one. So those are what I abandoned along the second, uh, along the second to the seventh level. <laughs> So the way so the way that 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 the way Anni uh, when uh, abandoning, then one begins abandoning from the most uh, great or the most coarse to the most subtle gradually. And in, uh, in generating antidotes, then from, um, small antidotes to the greatest antidote is what is, uh, what is gener uh, generated. Just like when uh, the example of uh, washing dirty clothes. When we are washing the dirty clothing, the, most, uh, the more gross or the coarse forms of the dirt, uh, dirt on, the cloth on the clothing is gotten rid of first. And then, the, uh, and then um, later on, the more sort of uh, resistant, more, uh, um, you know, uh, more subtle, um, uh, form of those uh, dirts are gotten rid of, and just uh, mm, uh, so in getting rid of the more coarse form of the uh, of the dirt of the clothing requires less effort, 
and trying to get rid of the more subtle stains of the clothing requires much more effort. Uh, in the same uh, same manner, then I, uh, you know, in uh, abandoning the the, uh, the obscuring defilements of the coarse or great ones, then uh, the small antidotes are able to uh, to uh, do that. And then, uh, when it comes down to you know getting uh, getting rid of the most subtle forms of those obscuring defilements, then it requires m very powerful antidotes. To get to getting rid of, of it, so uh, so in that uh, <clears throat> so so therefore I, you know um, so uh, so therefore uh, the obscuration of uh, afflictions are de therefore classified into this nine you know uh, that are abandoned along the uh, the you know the second to the seven levels of the bodhisattva uh, grounds you know. Um, I, all of the uh, all of the, uh, the um, all of the three uh, you know subtle or small uh, subtle levels of the um, uh, uh, obscuring defilements then uh, lumped into one and so they they made into seven like that. So so this is in accordance with the uh, you know the prasangika uh, prasangika system. She Ani sakuwa sakiaba ke chimbo kuwe chungting ani kuwa ke chungu tu sepangwa de te nase la sa yang sujeti liwa de ma duje tu sere tu chewa che so uh, yeah, uh, uh, with regards to the obscuration to uh, to omniscience then uh, you know uh, this um, in, you know this is an obscuration to knowledge uh, you know uh, an, uh, an obscuration that uh, obscures us from seeing the true truths simultaneously. Uh, so, and and this is rooted in the this obscuration to knowledge or obscuration to omniscience is rooted in the seeds in the seeds of the um, of the in the, the uh, grounds of the imprints of ignorance. I ignorance. So, uh, so um, uh, this 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 seed. Of the grounds of the imprints of ignorance is what uh, gives rise to our dual view in our consciousness. In a, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, they, they, uh, you know. So this this is what is regarded as the obscuration to uh, uh, knowledge, obscuration to uh, omniscience. So this kind of obscuration to omniscience is again divided into. Uh, great, middling, and small. So the great one is ab abandoned on the eighth level. The middling one is abandoned in the ninth level, and the the, the small, um, the subtle ones are abandoned on the tenth level. So again, uh, you know, internally, then there are many more classifications to it. But uh, so overall, it's like that. Oh yeah. Sure. It, so it sounds like still that. Oh yeah. Uh, that that are referred to by the, um, the predispositions of ignorance are the same pangcha that are referred to by the uh, the obscurations of the pure levels. Is that is that accurate? Is that that was kind of the original question, right? Yeah. But it still sounds like that's the same, and I just, just so the question is still there. Uh, the, you're asking are the that same pangcha, the same obscuration referred to by the uh, predispositions, the ground of the predispositions, as the pancha that are referred to here, by, the, by here in the th three pure levels. Yeah. yeah, they're all same. Okay. All same. The only reason for calling it the ground is to differentiate that this is a cause for the 
for the mental body of the Arya Bodhisattvas. It's only, that's the only reason. Mm. Mm. Didn't we finish the mm. establishing the, uh, the the nature of the dominant ignorance? Did we finish? Somebody said that she done a palanya watcher, that do a palanya bed to what he said, that didn't you want a bed to what he said? Better turn down. Tell me, one what's the start of 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 the Mm mm so we have the verse 113. Mm, just as an in inexhaustible treasure exists under the home of those des destitute, but those persons do not know of it, and that treasure does not say to them, I'm here. Mm. So, um, so the example is that of a uh, of a um, of a person who's very poor, and then underneath under the grounds of his house, then there is this inexhaustible treasure. But uh, you know the person, uh, despite, uh, you know, because um, you know uh, you know doesn't know that this, there is this treasure underneath his house, and also the. The 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 uh, that treasure also has uh, is is not going to announce that you know that it is there. That be la, this is be the thing you turn la, be this is do some jam jam ji, ani yi ji na do chu ba, the girl da, ka so the same ji ding do yaba yin zhang, yi ji na do chu ba, the girl ma do, ani ya rig de, 
so uh, like this example then it, it says that uh, uh, in the mind of all sentient beings within the mind of self on the basis of the mind of all sentient beings there is this lineage this natural purity we, we are not saying here that the mind itself is is a state of natural purity no, but it's saying uh, on the basis of this mind then there is this uh, lineage there is this natural purity which is like the source for for uh, generate um, source for giving rise to all qualities like a uh, uh, like a jewel uh, like a jewel treasury yes sir no. Similarly, oh. in the minds of sentient beings lies the potential for every excellent quality, a precious treasure which by nature are free, uh, free from defilement. A precious treasure which by nature is free of defilement is the suchness of the mind, free of defilement. So this is the, this is the selflessness of a uh, of phenomena, you know, the, um, the suchness of of the mind. Mm. Mm. So, um, uh, the suchness of the mind is uh, the selflessness of the phenomena, and the person um, who is endowed with this, uh, uh, with this, you know, uh, suchness of the mind, this person not existing by way of its own nature is the selflessness of the person. So, um, mm. so, um, you know, uh, this, um, uh, you know, this mind from the very beginning, from the very beginning, did not exist uh, by way of its own nature, and the person, um, you know, uh, possessed of this mind, even this person from the very beginning, uh, uh, did not exist uh, by way of its own nature. So these are the two, uh, two, uh, uh, you know, the two selflessness, uh, where the two kinds of no self are not newly established, and the two kinds of self are not newly created. So, uh, this uh, uh, mind not existing by way of its own nature, and uh, in the person that which uh, 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 in the the um, the mind um, that which depends on that person, even even that person uh, which uh, uh, does not exist by way of its own nature, has been like that since beginless uh, since beginless time. It's not like you know there's a new uh, new placement of a mind. It's not there's no such thing as as new, uh, as a 
as, as newly placing a mind that which does not exist by way of or nature, and the person depending on that mind that uh, which does not exist by way of it's not like uh, mm, it's, it's, there's no new presentation, new placement of su uh, su uh, such a uh, uh, such a mind or such a person. No, uh, in the the fact that this mind um, did not exist by way of its own nature, uh, and the person depending on this mind did not exist by way of its own nature, was like that from the, from the very beginning. You know? So uh, there's no new establishment or a new, or, or a new negation of a person existing by his own, own nature or, or a mind existing, no negation of that or, or uh, you know, or, a no negation of a, of a mind existing by way of nature or a person existing by way of own nature like that. So in from the very beginning that they did not exist by way of own nature was the same. But because of, of the lack of this realization, because of the lack of this realization, then I, we, um, you know, we have been uh, been deprived of the happiness. And because of the lack of this realization, then we are, you know, caught up in the many sufferings. So um, this reality with defilement existing uh, within one's continuum is not seen, and therefore these beings must experience continuously and in many ways the sufferings of being deprived of the happiness of liberation. Number because of lack of this realization of the <coughs> existence of this reality within our own country, <coughs> due to the lack of this realization of the existence of this reality, this you know suchness within our own continuum. So, uh, as a result of that, then uh, you know um, we have the poverty of the happiness of uh, liberation, uh, uh, and uh, you know and go through the many, uh, many kinds of uh, sufferings. And it is for that purpose, you know, of dispelling the many sufferings and, and for enabling the liberation uh, that the Buddha came into this world, uh, taught the Dharma, and through our practicing of those, uh, t uh, those Dharma teachings, then actualizing that liberation uh, from our suffering. Oh yeah, that did it. So this completes the brief explanation and then for the expanded explanation you have the root words. So, um, so, the, um, so it's a, um, the first two lines is the example exactly like what was stated in the previous verse, just as to a poor person under whose house a treasure of jewel, jewels is concealed. That treasure of jewels does not say, I'm here, and that person does not know of it. So, um, uh, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, the example is the same as before, uh, in denoting what is obscured. So the sage is born in the world and teaches doctrine in order that sentient beings like poor persons in whose home, home of the mind, the treasure of the uncontaminated element of a superior's qualities resides, could attain it. Oh yeah, that's a big deal. 
and so, um, so uh, the explanation is that, you know, um, underneath the house of a very poor man lies this very precious treasure, and the treasure doesn't say that it is here. And so, the, uh, and the person, the, this very poor person, is also and uh, doesn't know that such a treasure lies beneath his house. Is the example. <laughs> Likewise, then, uh, within the housing of this mind, in lies this um, but, um, lies this suchness of the mind, this natural purity, uh, which is the source for all of the Buddha-like qualities. But, uh, you know, uh, due to our not knowing this fact, Oh, Lubunamda and so because of uh, uh, not knowing this then we as sentient beings then uh, re remain in in a state of the po poverty the poverty of a uh, uh, well-being and happiness Happiness. So, for in order for us to be able to achieve um, the uh, the the state of the Dharmakaya endowed with the uh, with the two purities, the purity of the development of the natural uh, 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 um, naturally abiding nature, the purity of the the advantageous uh, uh, developments. In order to attain this uh, dharma, state of the Dharmakaya, endowed with these two states of purity, for that purpose, then the, uh, um, for, uh, to enable us as sentient beings to attain this, uh, this state of the Dharmakaya, then the sage Buddha then intentionally descended in our world and turned the wheel of the Dharma uh, for, um, uh, for individuals of the, of the heroes. Mm, of uh, individuals of the s solitary realizers and the Mahayana uh, lineage mm, in, a, in a t turning the wheel of Dharma in accordance with our mind levels and pre pre predispositions. Likewise, within the house of the mind lies the treasure like Dharma that has the potential to arise every Dharma of the Buddha, but sentient beings are unaware of it. Therefore, in order that proper like sentient beings can attain the Dharmakaya of twofold purity, the perfect sage is born into the world and turns the wheel of Dharma for, for the three lineages. Oh, yeah. Then is establishing by illustration the adventitious nature of the path of seeing uh, uh, and a path of meditation abandonments. And so, if we begin with establishing by illustration the adventitious nature of the path of seeing abandonments, and, and then second that um, the adventitious nature of the path of meditation abandonments. That, 
so, um, uh, so with regards to illustrating by uh, by illustration, um, uh, establishing by illustration the adventitious nature of the um, path of sin abandonments, then uh, you know uh, um, that obscure us from uh, directly perceiving the truth. And so, uh, these abandonments are of two kinds: uh, the manifest kind, and that is dormant or seed. Uh, um, uh, one of the, in, or you can say, one of consciousness and one of the of the seed. In the seven gita, when the seed bagi, two sum gita seven sum bata layang, thomang gita dan, gomang gita niga ye ba. Two sum gita kundan cha bata layang, thomang gomang niga gita ye. So, um, mm. uh, and when we talked about earlier the obscuring phenomena of the of the inner dormant desire anger ignorance and the and the dormant form of the the manifest um, gross manifest form of the three poisonous minds then uh, um, you know uh, the seeds of these are of all of these are ab uh, in, ab abandoned at the face uh, of the path of seeing, as objects of the path of seeing abandonment, and also as um, uh, as objects to be abandoned on the path of meditation. So there are parts that are abandoned on the path of seeing, parts that are abandoned on the path of, of on the path of meditation. And then again, you can say that and there are those that are abandoned on the hero's path of seeing, the, uh, uh, a resultant realizer's path of seeing, and Mahayana's path of seeing. You know, and you you have you differentiated it in this kind of way from the perspective of the antidote employed on these three uh, uh, at the at the hearers or the solitary realizers or at the mayanas uh, you know uh, mm, uh, you know um, path of seeing which is the um, uh, employing of the antidote of the uninterrupted path well, so um, again, um, and then you you have the um, uh, the uh, the brief with regards to the brief explanation. You have the 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 example and the meaning. So um, the root uh, stands 116, just as a seed capable of producing a tree which exists in a fruit of a mango tree and so forth, the seed being indivertible from giving rise to a sprout when it meets with favorable conditions gradually turns into the phenomenon of a majestic tree through the plowing of the ground, water and so forth. <laughs> Mm. Uh, 
So uh, the uh, the example is that in that of uh, the seed of the fruit trees like mango and citron <coughs> trees. Within the seed is the uh, the indestructible kind of potency for you know um, uh, for uh, giving rise to that you know growing into that kind of tr tree. And that seed is uh, when it has the um, supportive conditions of you know plowing the ground the water the fertilizer then uh, it it dev develops into this um, in, into this very grand tree oh yeah that tv turned a lot and it's a while since then i'm in my so so day g babu now to chunk them go i young to see go out today not then a room you to get you all true so um, then, uh, then the root verse 177 explaining the meaning of the example. So the uncontaminated virtue, which is the essential constituent of the superior qualities inside the covering of the skin of the fruit of ignorance and so forth of sentient beings gradually becomes the phenomenon of a king of subduers in dependence upon this and that virtue which is which is with the essential constituent <laughs> Shinki so within the skin the meaning within the skin covering of the fruits of afflictions such as such as ignorance or within the skin coverings of ignorance and so forth, which is likened, likened to fruit, uh, lies the Dhamma Dhatu, virtu uh, virtuous by its natural purity. So, um, uh, um, uh, so uh, this Dhamma Dhatu here, uh, uh, um, virtuous, uh, virtuous by its uh, by its uh, natural purity, uh, refers to the the um, you know um, uh, the the naturally abiding, the natural uh, the natural purity. But if we ask if this um, uh, you know this if if we ask even though it's, uh, it's here you said virtuous by its natural purity. Uh, even though it's mentioned like this, but it's not virtue in the true sense of the word. Because usually, when we talk of a, a virtue in the true sense of the word, then it is uh, it it has to have an effect of rendering happiness. Vir uh, what is defined as a virtue is that uh, that um, that effects uh, virtue is something that brings the result happiness. So uh, in that sense, uh, it's not like. But you can call it an ultimate form of a virtue. This vir uh, virtue, virtuous by its natural purity. Oh yes. So this um, this uh, dhamma dhatu, uh, virtuous by its natural purity, then is sort of um, uh, enshrouded by uh, in ignorance. Chongong ge wa rangxin nan ba ta ba se rangxin nei de qie ta ba yang ti xin du. I don't you see me, Dindu? I 
Kasore, Same Semji Sapin, Nua, Anne Kadus, Sugutirungi, Nua Jiki, Yava Yenzam, Anne Terso, Jenji, Nua de Sabala, Semgitting, Nua de Sabala, Sabatella Tene, Siguari, Roa, so that is again said the bomb. Chin you for unless I take it in the care, your mother. The conditions for awakening, uh, the conditions for awakening one's uh, Buddha lineage. So that is through uh, listening to the Dharma teachings, hearing the Dharma teachings, kind of, uh, in reflecting upon it. Uh, so um, um, you ha you ha you have the mind, which is the basis of the emptiness of the mind. The, um, the, the emptiness of the mind is the the you know the natural purity, uh, that emptiness, uh, and uh, um, you have uh, you have the the mind, which is the uh, uh, which is the basis of that emptiness, and then also uh, on the um, on the basis of which you also have the um, mm, uh, what is known uh, what is known as the uh, the seed for the unafflicted mind. Some uh, you know, mm, mm, the uh, the seed for the uncontained mind. So these. Um, uh, uh, in this natural purity, and and this, uh, you know, seed for the uncontaminated mind, is awakened uh, uh, by the conditions, um, by the by the conditions of our uh, supportive conditions of our hearing of the Dharma and our you know reflecting upon the Dharma. The you you cannot say uh, that the. Um, that the, that this natural purity in itself of self, you know, uh, is the is the condition for awakening the lineage. You know, um, the the suchness of mind itself is not the condition for awakening of the lineage, but it is uh, um, uh, this natural purity and the you know the um, and the seed for the uncontaminated mind is a. Uh, um, these lineages, this lineage is uh, is awakened due to our opportunity of hearing the Dharma and reflecting upon it. So, uh, um, this kind of so um, awakening um, awakening one's lineage is through you know um, uh, listening and contemplation uh, like awakening one's Mahayana lineage means uh, you know generating compassion and uh, you know the conditions for generating the compassion is hearing about compassion reflecting on that compassion is what awakens that uh, that mahana lineage what ene so de ani rise tini ti ba chimbe chanju semni chanju semke ki di ti ba chimbe lamdu kimi ke wa tela tene rimji ani tu ga yo go go chuare se so, um, um, by awakening one's lineage in this manner, then you generate bodhicitta, and then uh, you know progress along the minor paths, uh, and uh, and and in doing so, then actualize the qu uh, the qualities of one's Buddhahood. So, um, so um, just, uh, as the above the uh, as the above example illustrates when conditions awaken the lineage <coughs> and different virtues lead it into the minor path it, it develops gradually into the majestic conqueror that 
so the verse for the expanded explanation then you have verse 118 just as a tree grows from within the skin coverings covering a mango or palmyra fruit uh, by way of the conditions of water sunlight air earth season and space so the sprout of the seed of a perfect buddha contained inside the fruit skin of the afflictive emotions of sentient beings increases into direct perception of the elements of the element of superior qualities due to the, due to this and that virtuous condition of the two collections of marriage and wisdom which serve as the causes of liberation <laughs> Chuda <laughs> And so, uh, so given the right conditions of the water, sunlight, air, earth, and time, and with the with the space um, uh, providing the opportunity for it uh, for it to grow. So, it, it, if you don't have that kind of space, then it, you know there is no uh, ground for uh, you know uh, uh, for it to grow like that. Um, no, uh, no way, to, no for, no way for it to grow. So, with this kind of conditions, then uh, the seeds of these fruit trees, like mango and palmyra fruit trees, then these seeds grow into these, uh, you know, respective trees. Sim Kasu so uh, like this example then within the co coverings of our afflictions <laughs> within the coverings of our afflictions are the you know um, the um, uh, you know the um, the other uh, uh, other other seeds are the seeds of the uncontaminated mind and the um uh, you know, uh, and the uh, the and the natural purity, the seeds that which depends upon this natural purity, uh, you know, the seeds. Uh, these are the seeds for the Buddhahood, then, which is uh, brought into fruition uh, through our activities of uh, listening to the Dharma, reflecting upon the Dharma, and meditation up upon the Dharma. And in this manner, then, you have the you know the uh, the. Uh, the sprouting and the uh, of the path and the development uh, of the path, uh, of the minor minor paths and uh, and then uh, as a result of that then the attainment of the Buddhahood similarly with the right conditions such as the virtues of listening contemplation and meditation the seed of perfect Buddha the natural purity of the mind and um, 
within the skin of the fruit life afflictions of sentient beings will sprout and develop into the Mahina Dharma and uh, there it will continue to grow and become a Buddha. Tosam Gomzumji, say I did. Toa Tosam, two we share of Senna, so soon of Jutan, two we double to be share of La, and a two jumbi share of Sierra. So soon of Jutan, some bet double to be share of La, and then some jumbi share of Sierra. So thing is a combat of Latin, and it are some then humble and Jackie thing is a combat of Latin, we share of La. So, um, wisdom of uh, listening, f wisdom of reflecting, wisdom of meditation comes, uh, are defined as, you know, whatever wisdom arises in you on the strength of hearing the teachings, those are wisdom of uh, listening to them. And then, um, uh, whatever wisdom arises in you uh, due to, you know, reflecting on the meaning of the teachings, then that, that is the wisdom arising out of our, our, out of our reflection, and then uh, by by um, meditative absorption uh, on those you know sub, uh, on those materials on those subjects of teachings, then the, uh, uh, um, uh, referring to the samden tambo kasuba. So uh, all of the you know um, all of the meditative states of absorption from the first level onwards, you know, from those meditative states <coughs> states of absorptions, then uh, whatever wisdom is uh, generated is the wisdom arising from meditation. Oh yeah, that digi. I need to man lobo or do what they change our heart. So, on, so this is the point to, uh, to you know, to establish that all of the objects of the abandonment on the path of seeing are advantageous. So the next is I can um, establishing that the objects of abandonment on the path of meditation are also <coughs> adventitious, and so for that again, like before, you have uh, you know the, the teaching and the explanation, the teaching presented by example and meaning. That's <laughs> So and the example is uh, in verse 119, just as a god, having seen an Im image of the conqueror made from a precious substance, wrapped in a tattered, smelly cloth, and abiding on a road, speaks to someone about the fact of its dwelling on the road so that it could be released from that tattered garment. Oh, yeah. Come <laughs> So, so and, uh, the, and the example is that, you know, a, a precious image of the Buddha, which is uh, wrapped in a, in a very tattered, uh, rag, a ragged, uh, you know, dirty cloth, uh, 
which happens to be, you know, very, say, lying on a country road means like, you know, a path that is not uh, well traveled like that, you know, kind of desolate place. So uh, where, where people are, um, where people are, you know, uh, in order to prevent people walking past it or over it, then, uh, then the devas who see see this st this precious statue in this uh, ragged, smelly cloth, then uh, you know, uh, tells uh, you know tells uh, tells points points it out so in so that it can be removed from that uh, you know re removed from those rags and, and also so that um, you know. Uh, you prevent uh, people can sort of uh, walking over it. And it turned a lot. Tommy Chang and number Nazoji Nimonti dum deshing or bunyi turned to lion sin at Tishin de Tabacha, you turn to tap to in that said in Batata. And the meaning of this uh, yeah, example is in verse. 121. Just as one with the divine eye, having seen the image of a uh, of a one Gandas that has the nature of a precious substance, abiding on a road wrapped in in a smelly cloth, reveals this to someone in order that it might be freed. So, having perceived that the basic constituent dwelling on the road of cyclic existence, bound in the tattered garment of the afflictive emotions, exists even in animals. The conqueror teaches the doctrine so that it might be freed from obstructions. Oh, yeah. That is what I said. I said, 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 I uh, I, I made a mistake with the word verse. It's hundred uh, uh, um, and twenty. Uh, <laughs> It's 120. The Buddha endowed with the eye of unimpeded perception of all things, having seen that the phenomena of a one gun thus wrapped in the adventitious, afflictive emotions of various types exists even in animals, teach methods likewise for the sake of freeing the basic constituent. <laughs> Toma mebe, number Nazo Jinum, don't be the shake over days. That the worship of all sit, the shake me dani. Teta Ranchi Chapra meba. Tumarachi with Tishini. Any tendril I have seen as is. That's some Jatamjela, and a Sanja Greek Chava in Zam. Seen as the she said is old and out of tune. And so the meaning is that. Um, you know, um, uh, similarly, the Buddhas with their unobstructed vision see that since beginless times, suchness with defilement, whose nature is no different to the phenomenon of a Tathagata, uh, exists even in animals. So, uh, you know, the Buddha seeing the Buddha nature in all sentient beings. <laughs> Mm. Uh, um, so, um, so, um, so, uh, Tathagata, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the one that's gone, uh, is, a, um, a, it refers to the, uh, you know, um, you know, the one done, uh, the one thus gone, Tathagata, with respect to the three, ab uh, three abandonments, and um, and uh, you know the the one gone thus with regards to the three realizations. In the Pamba Deshi Sumde Sirigana, ane nyomo be juba maliba Pamba, nyomo be juba Pamba, maliba Pamba, ane lar miti be chichen do chen Pamba, sina. So, uh, when we talk about, uh, you know, an abandonment, um, 
uh, you know, uh, 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 you know that, that um, the, the three tatakata ab abandonment then refers to, you know, or the abandonment of uh, of uh, afflictions, uh, the abandonment of all afflictions, uh, the abandonment of uh, afflictions in a way, in a manner in which it will never arise again, as uh, as the uh, as the abandonment, uh, the three abandonment of the tatakata. Then, Bangma Dishisum Dengche. That Chamba, Toban Dishisum Dengche, La Chamba, Maluba Chamba, Chamba Demba, Che Tuxen is a good one. Toba Dishisum Dengche. So, Toba Dishisum Dengche. Toba The realizations um, uh, uh, the, uh, and, and the realis uh, the, the the realizations of a tathagata, you know, which are uh, which has this uh, p possesses these three features, is uh, you know uh, having realizations, uh, having uh, realizations, and um, you know re uh, realizing everything without exception, and that realization being constant or stable. That is to be said, says you in the Ram, Tambo de la Dot and Batelayam, Petan turned and to be said, somebody. And then uh, uh, um, you have the example that you, uh, you have the meaning of that example, and then the removing of the obscuration. That petition do some gente, some gente, and a tabber shall you turn to. Any child to take it to my tower shall be turned to. Any Sanjan Namji, Regent Sumji Lam, Sigana, Nandu Regent Gilam, Rarang to Bata Tumba, Nandu Regentamna, Nandu Gilam there, Ranja Gilamna, Ranja Gilam there, Tishing Gilamna, Tishing Gilamji, Anil Lamagaiza, Regent Sumji Lamji to be an attacked of a saddle. So, um, um, in order to gain freedom from the suffering of pervasive conditioning, then uh, showing the path, uh, the, the hero's path uh, for, for individuals of that lineage, the, um, the soul re re realizes path for those of this lineage, and the mind, showing the minor path for those of the minor lineage. Done. Rawa,接下来的话，咱俩呀，嗯，其他人家人家那些机器是不够，听人把讲机可就懂吧？俺们没做，没拉呢，那话题，没那么，俺们拉不着，没拉呢，那话题，那一没，俺们没去听呢，
so through uh, enclosed within the afflictions is the um, is the is the basic element uh, you know the uh, the, um, the, the n this natural purity which exists uh, even in the which exists even in the animals and seeing uh, seeing this uh, seeing this nature of natural purity in sentient beings and for uh, and in uh, in order to allow for sentient beings to be liberated out of uh, uh, out of some sacred existence then the buddha taught uh, taught the dhamma so um, the precious statue of the tathagata lies wrapped in a in smelly rags on a road a god with his celestial eye sees it and points it out to passers, uh, passers by so that it may be removed from the, uh, from the rags. Likewise, the naturally pure basic element lies covered by the rags of the afflictions on the road of samsara, uh, even in the continuum of even in the continuum of animals, the Buddhists see this and they preach the Dharma in order to liberate those sentient beings from samsara. And so um, then the fourth point is, uh, you know, um, establishing the adventitious nature of the defilements that are found uh, on the um, in um, on the impure and pure levels. So, um, so um, uh, establishing the adventitious nature of the uh, of the defilements first on the impure levels. So this refers to the uh, uh, seven levels, seven impure levels. Then <laughs> That <clears throat> the impurities of these first seven levels are likened to uh, to the uh, smell of the womb, S smell of the womb of uh, of of uh, of the child that is born. You know, when the child is born, then there is all that uh, you know dirt or smell like that from the womb. Uh, it's like uh, the analogy is that, and so uh, in the, uh, they are the you know uh, they are the afflictions of the grasping at true ex existence and so when the seventh level is uh, mm, so they, they are the they are the impurities of the uh, of the seven levels so when the eighth level is attained then uh, all of these uh, um, afflic um, obscuring afflictions are totally abandoned are completely uh, abandoned mm -hmm. So, this is a, this system is in accordance with the with the uh, you know 
with the uh, the metamaker system where you cla uh, where you categorize grasping a true existence as an uh, you know in a as an uh, um, as an obscuration of afflictions but swatantra uh, swatantra uh, systems then they uh, they don't assert uh, uh, you know grasping a true existence as an afflict as an afflicted of obscuration because uh, in this system in the swatantra system then when you when you abandon grasping a true existence that attainment is some uh, simultaneous with uh, you know enlightenment so um, uh, on the eighth level onwards because you cut off all manifest forms of of uh, you know grasping a true existence so eighth level onwards are pure levels and uh, because um, at the seventh level downwards you know you, you have not cut off a manifest form of a grasping a true existence so they are regarded as impure uh, levels mm -hmm. Oh,呀，你那其他人没说呢，哥们儿讲，说的个是那那他也没去，那他妈自己就说，其其他没没说呢，哥们儿讲，哥们儿多年说呢，多久了？我今天又把你直接把，让到也那也没咋没写字儿
ตาที่นี่การสื่อถึงละสูดังกามสูงกามสูมีคำสูงจีอันสิบามอันนี้ขวารเจ้าว่าเฮ้ยกูไม่ไปชิมนั่นเองบ้าจับตาเกวียนไม่บอกกันนะชิมนั่นเองบีสมเจ้าสินเดียสมเจ้าลูกบุญที่เมื่อมาด้าบีสมเจ้าอ่านะคู่จุดนั่นเองบีพิมพ์สินอ So, um, uh, so um, the you know this uh, um, this uh, this housing is symbolic of the uh, uh, samsara being born in samsara. You know, when the example of this um, being in a, a house which um, which uh, which is not uh, which does not have any kind of refuge or protection. Uh, in, And this dwelling is like the the birth in samsara, birth um, birth in the desire realm, form and f- f- formless realm. So, um, and the uh, uh, and uh, in, uh, you know, uh, be, uh, being born with all of those adventitious uh, defilements. <laughs> Rangshi yi ti mea kham ni, te la kangshi yi ba zi kham de che che rwa. Kangshi yi ba ta ri rim ji gwen dan jia wa chu wa. Rangshi yi ti mea, rangshi yi ti mea kham ni se gana sam ra sam ji rangshi nam ba ta ba. Kham te ni, ti nga ne ne wa shi no. So, you know, just like when one purifies the defilements of the Tathagata essence, Uh, in the same m- m- manner, then uh, you know, uh, gradually, then uh, uh, gradually, then there is the uh, there is the attainment of the uh, the protection and s- uh, and so forth. Uh, you know, um, the, uh, you know when when one is able to purify uh, uh, those defilements, then you know, uh, you know. One, uh, you know, one, uh, one finds the refuge, or one finds the protection. So, uh, so, uh, so, in the unprotected house of birth, in the existence of the three realms, live sentient beings unpurified of adventitious defilement. They are like the women with a, with a universal emperor in a womb, and those with such a possession will eventually be protected. Therefore, the naturally pure and undefiled basic element is likened to the emperor in her, in the womb. Yeah, yeah, that the water lamp. So um, we'll uh, we'll leave the rest of the explanation for the uh, for the afternoon. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.